um, ideas for some art to do at home. Um, so I'm going to try and pick some quite simple things so hopefully you'll have the equipment that you need at home. So today we're just going to be getting a little scribble-tastic. So I'm going to be painting, um, but if you want to you can do it in felt pens or coloured pencils or crayons or whatever you've got at home. Okay, so you will need some paper, you will need a black felt tip and then you'll either need some paints or like I said, some felt tips or pencils or whatever you need. So, first of all, we're going to take our pen for a walk on our paper. So you can pick any starting point and we're just going to draw a curved line. Okay, so it's going to overlap and it's going to split our page into lots of sections. Okay, try not to make them too small, um, try not to make them too big. If you think, oh, that one's looking a bit big, then you can cheat a little bit and just bring your line and split it up. Okay, so we're going to colour each section um, a different colour. For your colour scheme, you can choose um, anything you want. So. If you want to use the primary colours, uh, which are red, yellow and blue, you could go with that theme. Um, you could use complementary colours. Um, so the pairs of colours are red and green, orange and blue and yellow and purple. Or you can just use any colours, any mixture of colours that you want to. Okay, so I'm going to use a pair of com com uh, complementary colours, um, which is going to be red and green. So, because I'm painting, I need to put my apron on. Okay, and obviously I'm in the art room, but if you're at home, you might want to cover your table uh, with a wipeable cloth or um, with some newspaper. Don't be making a mess and getting me in trouble. Okay, so I'm going to use red and green. Um, I'll put a little bit more in there. And then if we want to make some different shades, okay, to make colours lighter, I'm sure you all know this, I'm going to add a little bit of white. Okay. And then just mix that white in, which will give me pink. Just add a little bit of more in there. green to give us a lighter shade of green okay, and that's going to need quite a bit more white and I'm actually going to run to my cupboard <laughs> and get another shade of green as well so if you've got some different shades that's fantastic but have a go experiment have a go at mixing your own colors as well okay so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to choose different sections and color them uh, uh different different shades that i've got in my palette so i'm going to start with this one Okay, try and be nice and careful and stay within your lines. Okay, remember to turn your paper around if it makes it easier. You might be sitting down, you might be standing up. I always think it's easier to stand up and paint. 
put whatever, however you're comfortable. Okay, trying to do mine quite quickly, um, but you take as much time as you need. I've got some drumming going on outside. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep with the same colour and then I'm just going to choose another section of my picture. Okay, I'm going to try not to put the same colour next to each other. Probably should have done with a bit of a thicker one. Okay, so right up to the edge, but so you can still see your black line. If you go over it a bit, it doesn't matter at all. I think I'll do one more section that dark green. Okay, and now I'm going to switch to a different colour. I'll use this nice bright red. And that big section there. Okay, try and remember when we're painting, we try and get all our brush strokes going in the same direction. Obviously, you change a little bit when you're going around your edges. But if you can just stroke it carefully down the page, it helps it look nice and neat. top to smooth it out and make my brush strokes look nice and tidy. Okay so we'll do another section in that nice bright red. Nice light green this time. And do this area. Okay, if you don't want to do it all at once, you could do some sections and come back another day, or you can do it all in one go. It's quite nice to do it all in one go, and then you've got a finished piece of artwork to be proud of. I'm just following the line around. Nice and carefully, and then filling in in the middle. Another section that colour. Remember to keep turning your paper round make it nice and easy for yourself. I'll have another one as well.
Okay. We'll do a lighter shade of red now. So this nice pink that we mixed earlier. brushes so if you've got enough brushes uh, for a different brush for each colour fantastic if not you'll just have to have a pot of water and wash them in between And that's it and I think I'm going to leave my extra sections white just to set it up a bit so there you have it a very quick and easy scribbletastic painting and don't forget you can use paint if you haven't got paint use felt tip so these are some I did earlier in felt tip okay again remember when you're colouring try and get all your pen strokes going in the same direction and try not to um, keep going over the same bit otherwise you'll end up with holes in your paper okay so another complimentary colours there blue and orange um, this is another painting one um, purple and yellow so complimentary colours again and this one I just had a bit of fun with lots and lots of different colours and again that's felt tip pen so have a go enjoy yourself um, and be as creative as you want remember there's no right and wrong in art just have fun, get creative, and if you can take a photo of what you do and send it in, that would be absolutely fantastic. See you later.